pessoal, meu nome é Bernardo. I hope you're all doing great today. If you have been playing guitar for some time now, I'm sure you already know about the chromatic scale. It's one of the best exercises that everyone preaches about to warm up before you play. And I'm going to show you my version of that exercise because I find that I have a strong point in my playing that may be neglected by other players and this may help to address this problem. So I used a lot my pinky on my left hand when playing and there are lots of players that completely neglect the pinky and to me it's a finger just like the other ones. For example I read somewhere at some point that Slash never uses his pinky while playing guitar. I mean I'm not bashing on Slash as a great guitarist of course but that is completely alien to me because I've always used it and it was kind of unconscious but now I do think it's important to use all your fingers to their best capabilities. So for me, there's no sense in not utilizing the pinky. So my variation of this exercise is as follows. Typically you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and so on. And so in this case, in order to force you to strengthen your pinky finger, what I advise you to do is this. So you do one, two, three, four, and then on the fourth note that you picked, you keep the pinky in place and you go on to the, to the rest of the exercise. So you have one, two, three, four, keep the pinky, go to the next string, one, two, three, and now you change the pinky. So you just do that again and again. You have the pinky still in its place, next string, one, two, three, four, the pinky now stays, next string, one, two, three, four, the pinky stays in its place, next string, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You get the idea, right? I don't know anything about anatomy, so I. <laughs> this is just my thinking. By keeping your pinky, you are kind of doing some force and you are strengthening the, the muscles of the pinky. So, one, two, three, four, So it's always like this, you keep the pinky in its place, move the other fingers and try to practice good technique as well so don't have your fingers like flying around. Try to reduce the, the movements as much as you can. Now for the descending part, I have also my variation of this exercise which once again will force you to keep utilizing your pinky and this is a, a bit tricky at first. I only started doing this variation one or two years ago. Typically it would be... Right? So in my variation of this exercise, you start with the pinky, ring, and then you move the pinky finger straight away to the top string. So something like this. And then you go back to the to the ring finger, middle and first finger. So and then you do the same on all the other strings. I know this doesn't sound pretty, but uh, this is an exercise that you can do unplugged. No, you don't have to bother anyone. For example, in a rehearsal situation, you can do this as your drummer is setting up, as he's the person that will always take the most time setting up their instrument. So this is an exercise that you can do anywhere and at any time. Once again, pinky, ring, pink, pinky, and you go back to the previous string with the pinky in its place. Again. Always with the, with the pinky in its place. Pinky, ring, pinky, ring, So now I will show you up close as well. Mm -hmm. 
So this is my personal variation of this exercise that I developed, I, I guess, over the years. And I, I will show you the, the full thing. And you do this up and down the neck. So you start at the first fret and by the time that you get to the 12th, 15th and so on, you will start to feel your, <laughs> your fingers really working for it. So now the whole thing up close. and so on and so on up and down the neck so yeah this is a really simple exercise it will take maybe a couple of tries to get it right but i really believe that this is really advantages to keep all four of your fingers strong because even if now you don't use the pinky as much this will only benefit you in the in the long run. If you have a, a strong pinky, that's another finger that's exactly like the other ones and one that you could use effectively in your playing. So if you have a strong pinky, it's much easier to do stuff like this. So I hope I brought you something of value today and I hope you apply this uh, when warming up for your rehearsal or for your practice session or whatever. About next week's video I don't know what will happen because this week I am in New York like right now. So yeah I am in New York this week so I hope I recorded some kind of vlog in order to be uploaded next week. If not I will think of something on the fly, get it on the fly, on the flight. <laughs> God, <coughs> I even started. I even started coughing. Sorry about this top quality joke. Anyway, until then, please enjoy some of my other content if you so desire. Comment below uh, what you would like to see me teach you next. Any ideas are severely appreciated tell me if you are liking these kinds of videos what kind of videos do you want to see subscribe hit the tiny bell in order to get updates when i release new videos so yeah like the video share this around with some guitar player who doesn't use their pinky enough um, maybe this will be um, of some value to them i hope you continue to have a great day afternoon or evening depending on the time you're watching this video see you guys next week and have a good one bye bye